Tonight, police are searching for whoever opened fire on a Greenbelt Street in the middle of the afternoon on Thanksgiving Day. A teenager was hit but is expected to survive. But the bullets that didn't hit him nearly hit a neighbor while she was relaxing inside of her home. Tonight, she tells our Katie Lusso she is living in fear. One, two, and then a third bullet hole all the way down here. These are just some of the bullet holes inside of this home on Matthew Street. Today, more than 48 hours after this happened, the family who lives here say they are terrified to even come outside. You can see I'm still shaking. Yeah, I feel like crying. May Sun says there are bullet holes not only in her garage, but in her bathroom. The bullet came through that way and broke the ceramic wall there. So if I were taking a shower here, oh, yeah. yeah, I would de definitely be shot. And her bedroom. That's where she was around 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon resting when all of a sudden I hear a series of big sounds. And I feel that the house shakes. She said she ran outside and saw her neighbor outside too. She's shouting that did anyone see my son? Moments later, she saw a teenager walking down the street. Mother just asking, did you get hurt? Are you bleeding? Greenbelt police tell us a 16 year old was taken to the hospital by family members and that his injuries are not life threatening. But the bullets that didn't hit him nearly hit Sun. I found so, so many bullet holes and any of them might kill me. The whole thing shocking. It's not easy for, for us senior people to move away. So I'm thinking what I what should I do next? I feel that I'm, my life is in danger and Greenbelt police say they are still searching for whoever did this. If you have any information, you are asked to call police in Prince George's County. I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.